Are malicious daemons hiding in your macOS? Ever wondered what lurks in the shadows of your macOS? Meet the mysterious world of demons. They're working tirelessly in the background handling tasks you didn't even know existed. But beware, not all demons are angels. Some may be up to no good, posing a threat to your system's security. A daemon is a background process that runs without direct user interaction. It performs various tasks such as handling system events, running scheduled jobs, and providing services to other applications. In macOS, daemons are managed by a system utility called LaunchD. Here are some key characteristics of daemons. Background operation runs in the background and doesn't require a user interface. System level often operates with system-level privileges. Persistent, continues running even when no user is logged in. Automated start, automatically starts at system boot or when required by a specific event. Purpose of daemons in macOS. Daemons serve several critical functions in macOS. System maintenance, perform routine system maintenance tasks such as cleaning up temporary files, managing disk space, and optimizing performance. Service provision, provide essential services like network connectivity, printing, and user authentication. Task scheduling, run scheduled tasks such as backups, software updates, and system checks. Event handling, respond to system events like file changes, network status changes, and hardware connections. Let's talk about the advantages of using daemons. Automation. Daemons automate repetitive tasks, reducing the need for manual intervention. Efficiency. They ensure that essential services and tasks are performed efficiently without user interaction. Reliability. Daemons improve system reliability by handling background processes consistently. Security. Running processes as daemons can enhance security by limiting user access to critical tasks and services. Disadvantages of using daemons Resource consumption Daemons can consume system resources, CPU, memory, which might affect overall system performance, especially if too many are running. Complexity Managing daemons can be complex, especially for users who are not familiar with command line tools and system administration. Debugging difficulties Troubleshooting issues with daemons can be challenging as they run in the background without a user interface. Security risks. If not properly managed, daemons can become a security risk, especially if malicious daemons are introduced. Where to find daemons in macOS? Daemons are typically found in several standard directories in macOS. System daemons, located in this path. Global daemons, found in this path. User daemons, specific to user accounts, located in this path. These directories contain plist, property list files that define the configuration and behavior of each daemon. Detailed steps on managing daemons. To list all active daemons, you can use the launch ctl command, open terminal, type sudo launch ctl list. This command provides a list of all currently loaded daemons. Identifying suspicious daemons. Step 1. Review daemon list. Use the launch ctl list command to generate a list of all currently loaded daemons on your macOS system. This command provides information about each daemon, including its unique identifier, label, status, and PID, process ID. Pay close attention to any unfamiliar or suspicious entries in the list. Step 2. Inspect daemon configuration. Locate the plist files of daemons in standard directories such as library launch daemons, system library, launch daemons, and library launch agents. Inspect the contents of these files using a text editor or command line tools such as cat or less. Look for the following attributes that may indicate suspicious behavior. Program path. Check the path to the executable program associated with the daemon. Ensure it corresponds to a legitimate application or service. 
Program arguments. Examine the arguments passed to the program. Suspicious daemons may use unusual or unexpected arguments. Authorization requirements. Determine whether the daemon requires escalated privileges or access to sensitive system resources without a valid justification. Step 3. Check for digital signatures. Verify the digital signature of daemon executables to ensure they are signed by trusted developers. Use the code sign command with the dash dv option to display detailed information about the digital signature. Open terminal and write this code. Now enter the path of your plist file. As you can see, this plist is not signed. Step 4. Analyze system logs. Use the console application to review system logs for any entries related to daemon activity. Look for unusual or suspicious events, such as unauthorized access attempts, error messages, or unexpected behavior. Step 5. Monitor system performance. Monitor system performance metrics such as CPU usage, memory usage, and network activity using built-in tools like Activity Monitor or command line utilities like TOP and Netstat. Look for any anomalies or spikes in resource utilization that may indicate malicious activity associated with specific daemons. Step 6. Conduct further investigation. If you suspect a daemon to be malicious or suspicious based on the identified attributes, conduct further investigation to gather additional information. This may include searching online for information about the daemon or related security threats consulting with IT security professionals or trusted sources for guidance and assistance, utilizing specialized security tools or malware scanners to analyze the daemon's behavior and characteristics, unloading and removing malicious daemons. Before removing a daemon, it must be unloaded. Open terminal, type sudo launch ctl unload, and add the path of daemon you want to unload. Now remove the plist file to completely delete the daemon. Type in terminal, sudo rm and add the path of that daemon. Confirm that the daemon has been unloaded and removed by checking the list of running daemons again. Type sudo launch ctl list and here you can confirm it. Want a deep dive into macOS daemons? Let us know if you'd like a detailed next video on this topic by leaving a comment below. So, did you just find a suspicious daemon? Don't panic. Follow our simple steps to identify and neutralize it. Stay vigilant, keep your system secure, and enjoy a seamless computing experience on macOS. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips, and share it with friends. Together, let's master macOS and make our digital world safer. Thanks for watching.